Can you know? I tell you something I've been thinking about for a while? I feel like Sean O'Malley never wanted to fight Marab. And Marab, yeah, but he made that fight happen, right? Yeah. With with his trolling on the internet and stuff like that. And you can see it in his face. O'Malley, it's hard to mentally get into a training camp and do all this stuff because you, yeah. you think it negative. Like, I didn't want this fight. I didn't want this fight. If we're just being honest, I, I need to be a, a bit critical. And I don't mean this with any disrespect to Sean. I, I love his game. He's super exciting. But that he didn't put his best foot forward. And I and no. I think that's partially partially some of it is him. Uh, did he underestimate Marab? Did he think he was going to be easier to hit? Did he, you know, did he, is he, is he believe in his own hype a little bit? Um, maybe. Or, and, and some of it is just Marab made some adjustments and changed his game just a little bit in terms of his output and his approach. Um, so I, I don't want to take that away from Marab, but O'Malley looked flat from the very beginning. He, he wasn't as light on his feet as he typically was. He, he always does a lot of stance switches but he's usually dynamic with it and kind of floats across the center line as he's doing it. He He's a little more tricky. Um, his output was very, very low. You know what the, the concerning thing for me, though, is for a very long time, when Sean O'Malley was on his rise, we heard that he was such a great grappler. We just hadn't got to see it because we didn't need to see it. He didn't need to show it. There were these stories of him doing grappling matches with these high-level jiu-jitsu people and competing with them. And when he got taken down last weekend, it did not look like he was going to threaten Marab with much of anything. Not on his back. Now, Alexa did. Alexa got taken down. She threw up many submissions and got close to a couple. We didn't see that with Sean. We saw Sean starting to get up and then Marab would still control him on the ground. I do believe that he can get better. I don't believe that we've seen the last of him. But I do know that even though he was the champion and even though he beat Al Jermaine, I still know that when he matches up with those guys who seem to be nightmare matchups for him, that visual will remain the same. And anytime you have that concern for him in terms of a matchup, it won't change until he shows that it could be something different. Yeah, I, w I went through the whole process of watching O'Malley walk out going, this is, the, it was like a little uh, bit of shock and all, like deer in headlights kind of. And then he got into the cage. He didn't seem his, and I'm not trying to make excuses for him at all. I'm simply saying he didn't seem as like, let's have some fun, bouncing That's around. Sharp. Yeah, I don't know what it was. He just seemed a little off. And there's days that you look like that when you come into the cage. The reason he looked off or potentially the narrative that he didn't show up he is because of Marab because think right. about it look at the other opponents yes granted Aljamain Sterling great wrestler Piotr Jan does have great wrestling ability but predominantly likes to fight on the feet and will mix in a takedown if he needs to um, but Marab was taking him down Marab was moving a lot and then when you start getting taken down and you start getting controlled and you start having a guy who's dominating you starts kissing you on the shoulders yeah. and then let's go of a takedown and says you know screw it it's okay it's all good I can take you down whenever I want I talk about it all the time and it's a cliche to say that slows down the striker's output because you're like mm -hmm. crap crap he is taking me down. I didn't think he'd be able to. I thought I'd be able to pick him apart. And you start going into panic mode in your brain right. and you start thinking, shit, 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 shit. Okay, I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not doing anything because I'm now on my back again. I do believe that Marab's movement was a problem for, for Sean. Sean really could have cut him off. And then he, the level changes that he was doing and then to eventually uh, take Sean down, make Sean get up. And the more that Sean was getting up, he probably should, should just, he should have probably just stayed on the bottom and maybe recovered and started taking his chances at the beginning of every round as it restarted. But Kamara, what can I say? I predicted these things. Sean is not accustomed to going five rounds and he is not accustomed to people on his legs. And I just felt like I still go back and say, hey, that fight with Aljamain Sterling, that was a fluke too. Uh, Algerman was still in that fight and people thought I was just hating. It's like, no, I've been in the world Marab. I did a whole lot better than Sean when I didn't even fight Marab. I mean, I took down Marab. Like, Marab is lucky that I had that growing injury, but from what I did the first try, if I would have kept that up for the third, that was going to be the damn game plan. And I'm still planning on running it back, but either way, Sean O'Methley got his ass kicked for five rounds and I can't wait to get him next, Kush. 
Kobe, you know what the problem? You know what the problem with him is, is that now he finds himself where everybody wanted to fight him before because they thought they could use his name to propel themselves. Now they want to fight him after seeing that he struggles with take down defense like that. Those wrestling dudes are going to be lined up, hoping to just build off of what they believe is the aura of Sugar Sean O'Malley. Sometimes it's not, it's just not your night. And it just wasn't his night. He looked flat. He he he, he looked like he really couldn't get going. It wasn't the Sean that we, I, we, we became accustomed to seeing, bouncing, moving, sliding in and out. Dribbling a basketball, it, it, it just it just seemed like he didn't have that spunk, that same energy off rip. And it, hats off to Mirab. Sometimes there's physical reasons why we don't uh, perform. Sometimes there's mental reasons. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't make sense of why, why you're there and why you're not for certain spots. But to me, and I don't know if this is where you're going with, with you know, say Sean O'Malley, for example. Sean O'Malley is one of those guys who always shows up and that's one of those fights. And, and again, a lot of it is deserving to, to Marab what he was able to do. But I never really saw O'Malley like on top of his game. In a situation like this, you and I would generally go, well, what do you do now? And I would make the same suggestion almost every time, which is you change weight classes. It is the best way to get a fresh coat of paint. Sean's not quite big enough, yet no. he's too big for 125 pounds. So it's just one of these things. It, it's kind of good problems to have and everybody deals with it. But when you're at that magnitude, the fall does seem like more. You asked me if I was a little down or depressed today or singing the blues, and I'm, I'm just letting you know, Sean O'Malley behind everything in the gimmick is a really hardworking young man that had a nope. dream and got beat. I didn't get a, I'm not necessarily like so sad. I'm not the champ anymore that I lost. It's like that I, you only get those moments like that was my second fight of the year. I get two a year max. I'm like, I didn't capitalize on it. Like it was there. The whole the event was made for me to perform. Like I was, they trusted me in the main event. There was no finishes, the whole main card. And now it's me versus Rob. And I was like, it was just so perfectly set up for me to go out there and just go viral and do what I do. That's what stings. Like, oh, it was just so big, such a big moment. Now, I know people were trying to say that O'Malley looked fly. I think that's the narrative that Daniel was trying to push. If I'm being fair again, if you look at his fights, his track record of all the guys he's beaten, they were all punching bags for the most part. No disrespect, guys. But to say he looked flat makes no sense. The opening bell, when he's coming out with those fades, those hip twitches that he does so well, where he's shaking off to the side, shaking off to the other side, and then looking for those long strikes. It came out exactly like Conor McGregor did against Khabib. Now, I gave Morale that same exact look coming out with the fingers long, trying to hit the fades and trying to go to the body, trying to go up top. Yeah, man, nothing but respect to him. Um, yeah, I, I forgive him everything, whatever he say to me, uh, to my friend and to my country. Yeah. You know, he's he's fighter, he's a hard worker guy. Today was my day and I just make him normal and he, he's okay. He will, I'm sure he will come back stronger and he will get better. Marab was just way ahead of him in every aspect and he made Sean O'Malley, in all honesty, look a little bit flat out there. He looked like he broke him down. He looked like he broke his will. He looked like Sean O'Malley didn't really in some moments, he didn't really look like he wanted to be there. And yeah, Sean O'Malley definitely had moments. He definitely landed some big shots on him. I think it was in the fifth round, maybe. I think it was at the fifth round, towards the back end of the fight, for sure. Landed a great body kick. Winded Marab, but Marab's willpower. He wanted that belt and he took it. He took it from the champion.